So welcome back to Dylan's Travels Channel, everybody. Today I've got another great find, a great accommodation find, which too far, I can't take the credit for my girlfriend found it, Harriet. But it's in, um, we flew to Agadir and then Tagazu in Morocco. And this room right here, we've got a sofa, we've got a table, we've got a double bed. It's a, it's a private room in a hostel, right? Private room in a hostel. And it's even got this balcony. This balcony looks out straight onto the sea. I mean, look at it. The beach is less than, you know, a minute walk away. All of this space, the sun traps here. And it's really, really nice. And the, the best thing about this find is that this private double bedroom, it's in a hostel, it's fine. Um, it cost us £28.75 per night, which is about £14 each. So if you're coming with somebody for £14, a room like this tonight, surfing is available on the beach. It is really quite amazing. Now, I just think that for, for a balcony as well as a room, that price is superb. And later on today, we're gonna go surfing. We're gonna go straight down there. Waves are gonna pick up, should be very good. And there's a terrace in this place. Everything you need is kind of nearby. Um, so what is this place called? It's called Oceana Surf Camp in Tagazut. And that hotel next door, so you can get some nice food. There's no normally a pool here as well. But if you're ever looking to go to Morocco, um, this place is probably gonna be a really good option for somewhere cheap, but nice to, sit, nice to stay. And it's definitely worth upgrading to a balcony room because, yeah, it's so... And again, a very nice thing is that when you're sleeping, all you can hear is the sound of crashing waves. So if you love the sound of crashing waves, you should definitely come here because you will fall asleep very, very easily. Very, very sandy beach. There's a roof terrace up the top here as well with the hostel, and there's normally a pool. Closed at the moment. There's a pool next door in the hotel. That's a lot more expensive. The hotel next door, don't know if it's all inclusive, but that cost about 100 pounds a night. Um, this next door to the left seems even bougier. No swimming pool though, but it's lovely. And always remember guys, if you do like or end up going to any of these places we see, you see here on Dylan's Travels, definitely comment down below. Oh, wow, it's another great find.